Man, I wish reading Halo updates would get me this excited about a game. But this recent blog update that we got from Battlefield 2042 has me pretty excited about the game. Makes me want to jump in and keep playing it. And so I thought I'd talk about it with the guys with you. And you know, it comes with like what's happening this month, coming out with season four and season five content, which actually has a little bit of extra maps coming in, which has me very excited about continuing to play this franchise. Also, I just love how beautiful this game looks, man. Oh. Looks so good, like the dynamic weather does in this game is pretty cool as well. So let's talk about what's happening with this month in December for Battlefield 2042. One is that we're getting a remake of the map Manifest, which is going to be great. And this is what they've done previously is like adding more geometry, so they have a little bit more cover, adding in some points of interest, closing the flags a little bit to kind of speed up the gameplay, you know, just kind of the general stuff that we've been seeing a lot with this franchise and this game in particular. And now, with uh, the new map manifest, with map manifest. Oh my God! Are you trying to do this again to me, buddy? Over? What are you trying to do? What are you trying to do? Come on, let's make it happen. Let's party. I want to dance. I want to dance. Let me dance. Yeah, let's dance, buddy. <laughs> I think the guy thought I was on his team because I was shooting at the vehicle. But like, no, I'm very much not. Oh, we got another one here. Unsuspecting victim. Another one. And another one. That's one thing I kind of wish that. This game kind of focused a little bit more on with this game is like the roles and stuff like that like everyone be able to revive each other like well helpful it kind of loses the effectiveness of like saying like the assault class in a way but that's gonna be changing looking like in the future and so i wanted to talk about it in this video and we have seen that there are gonna be updates to the map breakaway that's coming out in early 2023 but we won't really know exactly when that's gonna be coming out but dice did say that there's gonna be a blog update detailing that as well so we have to like that, that look forward to it as well on top of that. Oh, no, you're not. No, you're not. No, you're not. No, you're not. Oh, I like this little respawn beacon. Nice little touch there, guys. Good job. Good job. Let's give you a little ammo. And essentially, Breakaway is going to get the same type of treatment that all the other maps are getting. I'm just kind of tightening up the gameplay a little bit, putting, putting more points of interest, yada, yada. You know, all that good stuff. So basically, just making the map play better, which is exactly what this game needs. Oh, I saw you on the mini map, buddy. Don't act like I didn't see you. So whenever those updates do come out, guys, you know, I'll share with you guys here on the channel. Oh my god, there's so many people coming over here. But with early 2023, we're going to have the reintroduction of classes into Battlefield. So Battlefield should be playing more, well, like a Battlefield game. So kind of touching on what I was talking about earlier, saying that since everyone's able to revive each other, kind of loses the importance of, like, the meta class, because that was like, a really cool aspect that that class could do. And now that everyone can do it, it's really all you have is, like, the assault rifle class essentially each class will have like basically what you would expect to see for each class like its own specific gadgets and stuff like that so basically just like i said playing like a classic battlefield game which i think is what we all really wanted i know a lot of people i think when the general sentiment of this game was that they just really wanted battlefield 4.5 and we basically got a battlefield uh whatever 0.5 it is which I would definitely be excited for that class reintroduction and also making a recon class as well on top of that. So it's just going to be like I said, it's just going to be playing more like what we all kind of wanted and expected out of a Battlefield game in Battlefield. So it's going to be amazing. I heard your footsteps. I heard your footsteps, buddy. Don't even think. Oh, gosh. No, no, no. Don't, not right now. Not right now. Oh, he's on top of the roof, dude. I don't have a sniper. I can't do that. I can't do anything about that. Oh, my God. It's a robot dog. Get the robot dog out of here. Nobody got time for that. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. So season 4 we're going to get some more updates to maps as you would expect. We're going to get card. It's going to get a nice update. Pretty much all the stuff you would expect as well. Hourglass is also going to be coming in. But we're going to be hearing that more about the next de early development update from DICE. When that's actually going to be getting some cool updates. Oh god the tornado is coming in again. But one of the bits of news that came with this update, guys, kind of has me a little concerned with the future of Battlefield 2042 and how much longer the support is going to be for this game. As they mentioned, Season 4 will come with a new specialist that's going to be part of the Recon class. They haven't really talked much about it. But the thing is that what got me concerned, they said that this is going to be the last specialist added into the game, which makes me think, okay, well, the content development for Battlefield 2042 it's kind of start winding down a little bit and seeing maybe just kind of more into a supportive role rather than a role of adding content to keep people engaged with the game. I mean, we've seen something similar when it came to, say, Battlefield 1 and Battlefield 5, where they generally got about a year and a half worth of support and then they moved on to the next game that released about two years later. 
Oh, I snuck up right behind you, buddy. So maybe we could get an announcement of a new Battlefield game relatively soon. I'd say like probably the earliest though. It'd probably be like May 2024 as the previous game announces have been in May. So it's just one thing. It just makes you think like, okay, maybe it's just like how much longer is how much longer relevancy is Battlefield 2042 going to have? I mean, it's had such a lo rough launch with this game. It's just it seems like to be a common theme with the Battlefield games that though. They all kind of launch in a rough state, pretty much ever since Battlefield 4. They spend a year patching it, and then they go, okay, we're on to the next game. So with talks of Season 5 coming around then, it makes you kind of wonder if Season 5 is going to be like the last like real season worth of content. But I said, say with the new Season 4, that there's going to be a new map, that's going to be a very infantry-focused kind of experience, which actually kind of has me excited, as I'm a bit of a you know, infantry fan up myself. I mean, I love the good old days of like playing Metro 64-man servers, uh, Operation Lockers and Battlefield 4, so, you know, I'm definitely all about that. There we go. I'll help you out there, buddy. What's up, soldier? With Season 5, there is going to be less content as you would expect as there is going to be no specialist but they said pretty much everything else is going to be there with like a new map new equipment new battle pass yada 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 you know all the stuff you would expect to see in a battlefield game but one thing that's very interested in season five is the new map that's going to be coming in so i'm very excited about that oh so season five is going to be coming with a bunch of extra little goodies as well like we have a new map from battlefield 4 coming into battlefield 2042 so i'm very excited about that this is total chaos right now, and my server, or my ping or something, is just going insane at the moment. Oh my god, these rockets! And they basically, they said, the only description they really gave us about is that it's a Battlefield 4 map, and it's kind of like covered by like old vegetation and stuff like that, taken over by the 2042 war, which makes me then think that, okay, if it's like a bunch of vegetation, kind of overgrown kind of stuff, and it's Battlefield 4, what map do I think would really work out for that style? Oh my god, that guy slid like crazy to get me! Well, I'm thinking that map, it's probably Rogue Transmission, if you guys remember that one from Battlefield 4. I actually really enjoyed that map. The homie right around the corner here, so we can pick him up. Here we go. Another one in the Dust. And the reason why I kind of wrap this back to Halo here is that, like, I wish that reading the updates from Halo would get me just as excited as this does. Now, obviously, maybe I might be just, you know, a little bit more jaded as a Halo fan that I don't really get as excited as I should for their updates or something. But just, like, playing... Battlefield 2042 more casually. It just it definitely led me to just kind of appreciate what they're trying to do with this game, and I'm really enjoying it. Oh, and we got the dub. Let's freaking go. Thank y'all for watching the video. Check out this video, whatever YouTube suggests for you. You'll probably like it.